How are you? I'm fine, sir. Shall we begin the interview? Yes, sure. Are you comfortable? Yes, sir. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ashwini Saini. I'll be taking your IELTS interview today, and I'll begin with the introductory part where I'll ask some questions related to your life. So tell me your full name first. My full name is Dimple. And how may I call you? You can call me Dimple. Dimple, can I see your ID? Yes, sir. Sure. That's fine. Dimple, do you study or do work? Uh, actually, sir, I am a student at the moment. I am pursuing B.Sc. Non Medical from Government College for Women. Okay. What are your subjects? Uh, my subjects are physics, chemistry, and I am also doing algebra, calculus, in mathematics. And along with that, I am studying English and uh, physical education. Now I'll ask some questions related to your hometown. Tell me something about your hometown. Uh, actually, I live in Travadi. It is a small town. Basically, it is located near a big city, Karnal, but it it is not as big as Karnal. Yet, it is an interesting place to live. So, what are some of the interesting places in your city? Uh, actually, my city is famous for two places. Two famous places are there. First one is historical Gurdwara Sahib, and the other one is fort. Many people, even from different states, come over here to visit these places. What is the best way to reach your hometown for outsiders? My hometown is situated at National Highway One, so it is very easy for the outsiders to reach my home, uh, hometown. They can come by bus, or even the railway connectivity is also very good. So, at what time of year one should visit your city? According to me, I think uh, one should come in the month, in the season of spring and autumn, because uh, uh, in at that time the temperature is neither too hot nor too cold. So that's why I recommend that these seasons are the best to visit my city. Would you like to settle here in future? Well, uh, future is uncertain, so it is hard to predict. But uh, as far as I can see, my short-term goal is to go abroad for my higher studies. But if I'll get good opportunities here in India, then I'll definitely come back and live here. Okay, now I'll ask some questions related to your home. So, what sort of house do you live in? Uh, actually, I live in a very big house. It is very spacious. It has four bedrooms, one living room, one kitchen, and uh, washrooms are attached with the living rooms. And uh, it has a small kitchen garden at the backyard, and there is uh, also a small garden in the front. For how long have you been living in this house? I have been living in this house since 2012. Earlier, we used to live in a village, but uh, we shifted to this house in 2012, so it's almost six years. What do you like and dislike about your house? Well, uh, I like almost everything about my house, but the most important thing which I like is the garden. Uh, it is a small garden, but there are a number of rose plants and marigolds in my garden. And the other thing which I dislike is that there is some parking problem in my home. So this is the major problem. What do you want to improve in your home? As I have mentioned that uh, there is a parking problem in my home, so definitely I would like to improve that. Do you often compare your house with others? Yes, uh, well it is a human tendency that we often compare our things with others. So yeah, sometimes I also compare my house with the bungalows of other people. And I think it's natural. This is the end of part 1. Let's move on to part 2 which is a cue card. You have one minute to make notes, then you have to speak from one to two minutes. So your cue card is, describe your favorite restaurant that you often visit, what and where it is, how often you visit it, and how it is different from others. Speaker. Well, there are different restaurants in my hometown. Different people like to visit different restaurants. Mostly prefer, people prefer fast food. But I am a very health conscious person, so I like traditional and homemade food rather than the fast food. Here I would like to describe about a restaurant which is famous for traditional food. It is Haveli. Basically, it is a Punjabi themed restaurant. It is situated in the outskirt areas of Karnal. 
Karnal is very famous place for different types of locations but Haveli is also one of its popular place different people even from the different areas different states come over here to visit this place because of its popularity well uh, i visited at the weekends being a student i do not have a lot of time on the weekdays because i have excessive burden of my studies that's why i prefer to visit this restaurant at the weekends with my family members it is very different from other because uh, the one thing they keep in mind is cleanliness they serve the food in a very clean and hygienic way their service is also very quick and fast the another important thing is their staff members are well mannered and polite with their customers they offer the food in a very nice way they do not misbehave with their customers the another important thing which is different from other restaurants is their traditional attires actually the staff members wear different kind of dresses like the male members they wear kurta pajamas which is a traditional punjabi outfit and the female members they wear punjabi salwar suits this is a multi cuisine restaurant uh, but it is mostly famous for the punjabi dishes they offer a large variety of punjabi food dishes i must say that it is a very nice place so everyone should visit this place for occasionally dining out let's move on to the third part which is follow questions why do you think people go to restaurants well i think people get sick of by eating the same food at the home that's why they prefer to visit the restaurants moreover nowadays everyone has a very hectic schedule so that's why they do not have a lot of time for to cook the food at home so i think this is also one of the main reason to visit restaurants why do most people book hotels for parties and ceremonies these days nowadays people are very luxury conscious that's why they prefer to book restaurants and uh, banquets for ceremonies because they do not want to take the headache of the all music stuff and food arrangements they just uh, uh, organize the parties in banquets and hotels or in restaurants they hire the event managers so that they can uh, manage everything easily do eateries serve good quality food at reasonable cost actually it depends from place to place uh, i have seen in the big cities like in amritsar in delhi there are very really big restaurants and they serve food at very really high price and moreover it is also said that good quality items are always expensive and their food is also very really delicious but at the same time i have also seen some places some restaurants in my hometown or in small cities where the food is good and they also offer the food at reasonable price what kind of food is served in restaurants nowadays actually different kind of food is served in restaurants uh, they have uh, a number of uh, uh, food items in their menu list like uh, they serve thai continental south indian punjabi food chinese and italian also what type of food is popular among people in your area traditional or fast food both traditional and fast food are famous in my area i think it depends on age because uh, traditional food is popular among the elder people because of their health issues but uh, the youngsters like to eat fast food because they like the spicy food that's why they prefer to eat fast food only and uh, there are a number of fast food outlets in the every corner of my area so i can also i must say that it is also very popular among youngsters Okay Dimple this is the end of your speaking interview Okay sir thank you sir Hello students i hope you like this video i'll be making such videos in future as well aapki kya pratikriyaen hain unhe comment section mein zarur share kare aur aap kis tarah ka video humse chahte hain english learning ke lihaz se ya motivation ke lihaz se wo bhi mujhe bataye comments ke zariye main sabhi ke comments padhta hu aur jitna bhi ho sakega आपकी उम्मीदों को पूरा करने की कोशिश जरूर करेंगे बने रहें हमारे चैनल के साथ ज्यादा से ज्यादा लाइक कीजिए शेयर कीजिए हमारे वीडियोस को और सब्सक्राइब करें हमारे चैनल को खुश रहें आबाद रहें